Hello everyone, this will be a quick video, because I will just give you my point of view, not a full comparison between the two softwares. So the question is, which one is better for you? Okay, it's all about your perspective, if you are a light user, and you are not ready to rent a software like Photoshop for $120 a year in their creative cloud plans. In this case you will probably find Affinity Photo a great alternative for just $40 one-time payment with free future updates, since it has almost all the basic tools needed to edit your photos. Otherwise, honestly and from my personal experience, I still use Photoshop for almost everything, and if you ask me, this is why. First Photoshop has way more professional tools than Affinity Photo, from photo manipulation tools to filters, 3D, GIF animation, illustration and a big plugins market off course, and the most annoying thing for me is the performance, I've tried many times before to make photo manipulation videos in my channel, but for more than one time, Affinity Photo start freezing or maybe stop working, and believe me this never happened to me with Photoshop with more than 10 years of usage. Even though I am using Affinity Designer for 98% of my personal and professional uses, in the other side you will find me using 99% of my works on Photoshop rather than Affinity Photo. Also I very like the mock-up usage with Smart Object on Photoshop. The handful of tools and effects, the big market of plugins, filters and files. But let me tell you that I don't mean Affinity Photo is not a good software or anything like that, they have a very beautiful interface, you can find also a big variety of adjustment for your photo. Brushes, personas, very useful tools etc. And for a photographer, you may find Affinity Photo as an almost a true replacement for Photoshop. I don't consider myself as a pro Affinity Photo user, so I may be wrong in some points here, so at the end, this is just my opinion, and I very hope that one day, after some big updates, maybe Affinity Photo will reach to the point to be a true replacement for Photoshop. But sadly at least for me, not yet. Thank you guys for watching please give me your opinions in the comment section below, and if I am wrong in some points, and I will see you in a future video, goodbye.